had before, but we do have this gentleman in the studio. And I'd like to introduce him to you now. If you folks will give him a big hand, Tex Redder. Well, thank you very much, Hank. I'm sorry I didn't get in town in time to be here at 1215, but we're here now. Very happy to be here. We've been in the rain all the way from Austin. I didn't uh, get all of my people uh, uh, up to the studio, some of them out eating, so while we gather what we have, why don't you sing a song? We've heard a lot about you. We'd like to hear you sing one. Okay, perhaps you could give me a little help on this particular tune. you got some of your people up here, which I'd like to have you introduce after this next, after this song. This is one written by Gene Autry, and I think you all know it. Darling, what more can I do? You say that I'm unfair, but I've tried hard to do my share, oh, darling. What more can I do? You don't believe it now But honest, I've kept every vow Darling, what more can I do? I've never given you one cause to doubt me Where by stars above that I've been true Although we say goodbye I'll love you till the day I die Oh darling, what more can I do? Just to keep our tear apart, oh darling, what more can I do? You don't believe it now, but honest, I've kept every vow, my darling, what more can I do? Each night I pray. With the new day's dawning, you realize that I'm in love with you. By heaven up above, I've earned the faith that goes with love, oh darling. What more can I do? Thanks a lot, friends. That was some good help there. Tex, I'd like for you to introduce all these boys and girls you got up here with you. Fine, Hank. This is, uh, well, I know why you want to introduce them. Uh, you got two very nice-looking young ladies here. Old Hank, he and <laughs> his father didn't raise any idiots. <laughs> Hank, this is Kobe Jones here, a little girl singer. Glad to know you, Kobe. Thompson. <clears throat> Stand up, honey. This is June over here, the little girl with a smile. This is Smudgy, and this is Spud. We have some more in the <laughs> restaurants all over town. I don't know where they are. Well, Tex, we I'll have, have the horse. <laughs> we have Cannonball. We have uh, quite a... Got about five or six cars full. I don't know where they all are, but uh, we'll try to do the best we can. Uh, Kobe, how about you singing first? No one to cry to, no one to say good night, no one to tell my troubles to. Someone to say I do. 
hearing some good singers. You know, uh, of course, this is very impromptu. I'd like to tell all you folks that Tex and I just got together without any rehearsal up here. Uh, but we would like to say, Tex, that we get a lot of requests for your numbers, and one especially is Long Time Gone. I know all these folks would really like to hear that <laughs> particular number if you'd do it. Long again. Time Gone. Long time gone, babe, long time gone. All my own, you're all my own. How I miss you, so far away. Thinking of you, night and day. Every time. Come on home, babe, don't do me wrong, too long gone, you're a long time gone. Okay, very good number, Tex, I really like that tune. That's what they call the depot music. <laughs> well, boy, you were hotter than a depot stove on that uh, you know, I hear uh, Hal Horton's Hillbilly Hit Parade up there most every time he's on the air, and you really have a lot of tunes on up, up there, a lot of your numbers requested quite a bit, and you seem to be pretty tall up there in the popularity polls. <laughs> and I'd like for you to do some of those songs. Everyone's familiar with a lot of your numbers down here, especially the ones that appear on that particular program. And if you could do a couple more up here, I know that folks really would like to hear them. Tex, and I would too, because I like your songs. And your music. Well, thank you, Hank. I wonder if I could raise this just a little. I don't know where to hit this I think thing. So smart just uh, about him, yeah. We let that thing down for that good-looking girl. Oh, that's right. Quite as tall uh, as we are. We'll put it fine. Back All here. right. Uh, I think uh, we'll try uh, Green Grow the Lilacs, my dear. Well, I used to have a sweet odd but now I've got none. Since she's gone and left me, I cannot for one. Since she's gone and left me, contented I'll be. She loves another one better than me. I wrote my love a letter in red rosy lines. Sent me an answer, twisted in twine, saying, keep your love a letter, I will keep mine, write to your sweetheart and I'll write to mine. Green grow the lilacs all sparkling with the dew, I'm lonely, my darling, since I'm parting with you. By the next meeting, I hope to prove true and change the green lilacs to the red, white, and blue. Very good, Tex. Very good. Boy, that number's been a favorite up here. Folks really like those old traditional songs. I know you feature a lot of them on your programs and records. Uh, Tex, why don't you tell the folks about the uh, parents over here at the Waco Theater? about the nature of your program and a few other things. I know they're all interested to know where you're going to be on the stage, what time, and all that sort of stuff like that. There. Well, I think our first show today is around 2.20 this afternoon at the Waco Theater. We'll, uh, we're making a tour of the interstate houses of Texas. We open today here in Waco at the Waco Theater. We'll be here for four days. Then we go to Abilene, Wichita Falls, Amarillo, Albuquerque, and El Paso. The last... Uh, day here, which is Monday, I think, we're having an amateur contest. And any of you boys and girls that want to enter it, you come backstage at the Waco Theater and ask for Joe Allison. He'll take your name and address and listen to you. You mentioned Hal Horton a while ago, the winners. There'll be two winners of the seven Texas cities that will have their expenses paid into Dallas to appear on Hal's program, and he thinks he can place the winner on one of his shows out of Dallas. We have Cannonball with us, the great western comedian, the pals of the prairie, Hobie Jones, you've just heard, Spud Goodale, 
Bill Marks, and of course we have the horse, White Flash. He's be with us on the stage at the Waco Theater. We're looking forward to a very pleasant four days here, Hank. Well, Tux, about this beautiful horse of yours, White Flash, I understand that tomorrow morning you're going to give four youngsters an opportunity to ride this horse of yours. Won't you tell them about that? I know we've got a lot of youngsters up here today, and they're all wanting to see you, and I know they're Well, you see, I just got into town. I don't, uh... First time I've heard about that. Is that I, uh, right? Yes, sir. Well, I think they kind of get these things prematurely without your permission. But well, that's I know all right. I don't tracks. usually let uh, I don't usually let uh, anybody ride him. He's uh, but it's fine if the if the theater management have made that arrangement for boys and girls. We did it in Galveston, and it worked out very well. Well, that's a Saturday matinee tomorrow. That's Saturday right. Oh matinee. yes, yeah. They draw. That's, that's right. They draw for the numbers and. Uh, and they ride, uh, that's right, but to the mothers listening in, they, this horse is a stallion, but he, he's not uh, he's not dangerous at all, and they'll, well, I think there's about two or three men around there with him all the time, so there'd be no danger to the boy and girl to ride. That's right, well, let him ride the horse. Let him ride the white stallion of Skull Valley, that's good. Okay. Say, Tex, I forgot I th- tomorrow was Saturday. So Tex, I think you got time to do a verse or two of some other particular tune before we go off the air here. All right. Uh, uh, got a couple of minutes. You just tell me when to get off. I'll sing one verse of two different worlds. We live in two different worlds, dear. That's why we're so far apart. You built your world out of vows that are broken. I built a world in my heart. All of my friends tried to warn me. You were just playing a game. I told them all we were meant for each other. I thought our worlds were the same. If you stay over in your world, oh, how my poor heart will pine. Darling, someday when your memories wander, Come over to mine. We live in two different worlds, dear. My world is honest and true. Sweetheart, remember when your world gets lonely. I'll still be waiting for you. Well, Tex, the totals didn't make any difference. We ran over here a few minutes, and I'd like to say that it's been very nice having you up here in the studio. Well, we've enjoyed and, uh, being with you, Hank, very much. We want you to come down to see us. All you people, come down to see us. And so, uh, till tomorrow, I think it's about Monday, 12, 15 noon, I'm going to be back on the air. And uh, we had this little special broadcast here. We've had a couple of special broadcasts on the air, and we've led people to believe we're on every day at that time. I'd like to say to all you people who are listening that this is not my regular program today, because my regular program is Mondays through Fridays at 12.15 noon. And Tex would like to have you down anytime you're back around the way, so Thank I'll you. keep playing your songs because the people request them. And right now, I have a little bit of this theme song. Down on my private valley, Rondo, in central Texas where the cotton grows. You can bet your boots I won't be leaving. 
Well, that's just about all until Monday at 12.15. We want to invite all of you folks to see Tex Ritter and his cowboys and cowgirls and his beautiful horse, White Flash, at the Waco Theater for the next three days. And until Monday then at 12.15, we'll just say we'll be seeing you.